Hi everybody, my name is Bree and welcome back to my channel, Bree's Arts. All right, you guys, so I'm super excited because today we are starting some all new fall decor pieces. Now, I absolutely love fall, so I really, really hope that you enjoy these beautiful pieces that I've created for today's video. Now, as per usual, I am using mostly Dollar Tree items, some items from Dollarama. Um, I think I got some stuff from Michaels as well. So with that being said, let's get into the first DIY. All right, you guys, here we go. Fall DIY number one. So we are going to start with some of this uh, nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna snip off the stuff. And I'm going to start by wrapping the rope around itself and hot gluing it. Now the, the strand or the length that I started with was four inches because I wanted to make sure that this is a oval shape and not too circular. So I'm just going to take my hot glue, go all the way around and just hot glue it to itself here multiple times. So round and around and around. And you know, you can do this whatever size you want, whatever shape you want. Um, but I just wanted this to be, you know, oval, oval shaped. So there we go, last little strand there. And then I am going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut the excess off at an angle so that it kind of follows the shape of the curve of the oval so that you can't really see where the end is. So you can see there, cut nicely, perfect. And I made three of those all the same size. And I'm going to take my lighter here and just burn off all of those, those fuzzies just to make sure that the rope is nice and clean. And this also gives it a really nice color too when you burn off all of those, you know, strands and fuzzies and all that jazz. <laughs> and I'll do that to all three. So I got these tag shaped signs. They were from summer, but you can find them all the time um, at the Dollar Tree in different, like at Christmas time, uh, you know, in Easter and whatnot. Um, so I'm just taking off the tags and then what I'm going to do is I am going to eventually paint these up with my watch up paint, just like that. And now I'm taking some Mod Podge and I'm gonna put a fairly thin coat, like not too, too thin, but thin enough because we are going to um, decoupage some tissue paper onto this piece here. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you guys know that this tissue paper is my absolute favorite. It is gorgeous and um, it's perfect for this project. So. When I'm putting the, the tissue paper down, I'm just lightly tapping it down so that it does not tear. If you rub it really hard, you will definitely tear your tissue paper. Now, I've also seen some creators like Kathy Jo, she uses the um, saran wrap method when she puts down her tissue paper onto Mod Podge, um, and that reduces wrink wrinkling of the, the tissue paper, but honestly, I don't mind the wrinkling. I think it gives it, you know, some texture and makes it look not so perfect. So, uh, but you guys do you, whatever works for you. And here I'm just sanding all of the excess off on the edges there. Make sure you're using downward motions with your uh, sanding block. And then I just poked out the hole there at the top. Now check out this absolutely gorgeous scrap paper that I got from Michaels. It is stunning, like gorgeous. Now I did get it last year and this is the, the one that we're gonna use, this beautiful green, um, but hopefully you can find it again this year. If not, ugh, you can use any 
scrapbook paper that you want. I just really, really liked this green to go with that tissue paper. So I cut it down to size and now again, um, I'm just putting a layer of Mod Podge onto the sign here. This is a little bit of a thicker layer than what I used with the tissue paper um, because it's scrapbook paper, right? So it's really, really thick. And so I just put that down, make sure you smooth it down nice and secure. And then I'm just going to take my sanding block here and I just wanted to distress it down just a little bit. I wanted it to look a little bit more rough. So I'm just going around the edges, you know, with my sanding block, taking off some of the top layer of the, um, of the scrapbook paper and just, you know, scratching it up and giving it a little bit more detail. Just like that, scratch, scratch, scratch. And this is going to be the bottom of our two tags. So I only do like that um, bottom corner. And then I also do a little bit on the top corner. And of course, just, you know, take my, my uh, paper towel and just wipe off any of the dust. And then put another coat of Mod Podge over top just to make sure that it's nice and sealed in. And so here you can see, look at with my ropes, I'm making a pumpkin. How cute is that? How cute is that? How cute is that? So I just marked off where the top tag is going to lay and then put some hot glue on and then just secured those into place. And now I'm just going to um, hot glue my rope ovals onto the sign here. I'm having some trouble with my hot glue gun. I was having trouble with my glue gun this whole entire time crafting, you guys. I don't, maybe I need a new one. I'm not sure. I really like this one though because it's cordless and it's it gets really hot and it's really great, but I might have to replace it. And then this is just a piece of driftwood from a package that I got at the Dollar Tree to make the stem, or as we know, is called a peduncle. That is the stem of a pumpkin, you guys, a peduncle. And here I just cut out um, a decal on my Cricut and it says, hey there, pumpkin. The font is called American Typewriter. And just put that into place there. Look at how cute, the oh, look at how cute this is. I freaking love it. And then I got this ribbon from Dollarama. It's very, very pretty, but you know, you can use any burlap ribbon you want. You can use whatever you want to make a hanger for your little sign here. So um, I'm just creating this hanger and then this project is done, you guys. It's so cute, it's so pretty. I love that pumpkin. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Oh, I think it is so freaking cute. All right, you guys, I hope that you're enjoying these projects today. And I just wanted to pop in really quickly to remind you that if you like home decor on a budget, stuff that looks kind of high end, but you really just got the stuff at the dollar store, then this is the right place for you. So make sure you tap that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure that your notifications are set to all so that you don't miss any of my uploads. And to all of my breezers out there, all of my old subscribers, my new subscribers, and everybody in between, I love you guys. I love you guys. You're amazing. I love all of your comments. When you comment on my video, it helps YouTube send it out to more people. When you tap the like button, it does the same thing. It helps YouTube notice me. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. And with that said, let's get back into those projects. And we are moving right along with Fall DIY number two. 
All right, you guys. So I got these wooden pieces from the Dollar Tree. Um, I think I got them around maybe Easter time or something. Hopefully you can find them. And I'm just going to paint them up with my white chalk paint. Look at that. And so here, these puffy stickers I also got from the Dollar Tree. They're these beautiful roses and Oh my goodness, I love how this turned out, you guys. It's so pretty. So I just grabbed two of those puffy stickers and I am taking off the backing. Now, these are actually very sticky. I was quite surprised. I thought that I would have to use some other adhesive or some hot glue or something like that to um, get them into place, but they're very, very sticky. So I didn't have to do that. And I just placed them in the middle of one of the wood pieces there and just painting them up with my white chalk paint, making sure to get into all of the grooves. And I did have to do three coats over top of those roses just to make sure that they were completely covered. And now I'm using my Antique Wax by Waverly and I'm gonna grab a chippy brush here and then dab in there, dab off the excess on a paper towel, and we're just going to distress these down just a little bit. Now, if you guys don't wanna use white, you can use any color. Like if you wanted to use like a cashew color or like off-white, a cream color, um, you could make, you could do blue, you could, any color you want for these um, would look absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you were wanting to do a color though, what I would do is I would then distress over with a white chalk paint to bring out all of the edges so if it was you know if you were using Nantucket blue which is my favorite then I would just distress over with white chalk paint and it would bring out all the of these details so I'm just going around the edges here and you saw that I went over the roses you see how all of those details just pop after you go over it oh my goodness Christ I it's so beautiful and I did hot glue all of those pumpkins together I didn't show it I lost a little bit of footage um, but I just hot glued them together and then I put the stem at the top using that same driftwood that I got from the Dollar Tree so that was my stem and now I'm using this wired cord. Um, this is from Dollarama, but you can get it at uh, the Dollar Tree. And this is what I'm gonna use for like the little, you know, spindly bits that you, um, that you find on the pumpkins, right? So I just wrapped it around a pencil to make like the little curly cues. And then I'm just going to cut that off. And then I am going to wrap it around the stem here just to make sure my length was good. It's a little bit short, but it's okay. And then I just used my pencil again to make another curly cue there. And then this wired cord is just awesome because you can position it however you want. It's really, really easy to work with. I love it, it's so cute. And then I just grabbed some uh, pieces of a hula skirt from Summer with the raffia. And I just tied a very simple knot on there, cut off the excess, and look at how pretty. So if you don't wanna do it like as neutral as I've done, you can use different colored ribbons at the top. Like, do whatever you want, you guys. This is just giving you inspiration for this beautiful pumpkin, I love it. And all I did is just glued some tumbling tower blocks to the bottom to make it a stand, and that is it, isn't it? Gorgeous, oh my goodness, it's so stunning. Right, you guys last one fall DIY number three all right so I got this Canada Day decor from the Dollar Tree I'm sure down in the States you would have something very very similar to this um, but I'm just using my heat gun and I took the tag off of there and we're just gonna use our white chalk paint and oh, paint it up all white everything the whole entire thing but I am gonna change my mind, so just stay tuned. 
<laughs> and I got this beautiful placemat. This is from Dollarama. Um, it's gorgeous. It has all of these beautiful leaves on it. Um, I love it so much. And it's made of felt. So it's very, very, it's very cool. And so I'm just cutting it down to size so that it will fit inside my frame here. And I just basically, you know, eyeballed it. It does not have to be perfect. Um, and you can see here, like, then I have to trim it down just a little bit more. And then just a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> until it fits perfectly and so I just use my measuring mat to measure off the rest of the of the leaves there where I needed to cut so that the line was really straight I love my measuring mat you guys know this you need to get one to you know to be able to craft it's like it's amazing and so now that it fits, just use some hot glue and we're just gonna glue this placemat into the center of our frame here, just like that. Isn't it so pretty? Ugh, ugh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, if you can't find this placemat, you guys, just use some scrapbook paper. Like, just use whatever you can get your hands on. Again, this is all just for inspiration. And so I got this little pumpkin. This is also from Dollarama. I got it last year. Um, but you know, the Dollar Tree has a ton of different kinds of pumpkins that you can use for this DIY. And of course, just taking off all of that horrendous, horrible glitter. I wish, I wish. Dollarama, Dollar Tree, stop putting glitter on stuff. Ugh, glitter's awful <laughs> and it's a pain. So anyways, took off all the glitter, cleaned it all up, and then I'm using that same scrapbook paper that I used in the first DIY there. And I'm just going to uh, turn this over and then create the shape of my pumpkin here, just kind of trace it out. Now, of course, this is not going to, it's gonna to be too big, right? So then I just really eyeballed it. I lost some footage of course, and so you can see there that I painted the pumpkin white, and then I used my um, antique wax to paint up the stem. And you know, it's nice to have those brush strokes when you're using the antique wax because it makes it look like wood. So it worked out really, really well. And just using some Mod Podge, and we are going to adhere the scrapbook paper to this pumpkin, just like that. Look at that, it looks fantastic. And then we are going to go over with another layer of Mod Podge, just to make sure it's nice and secure. Isn't that so pretty? Oh my goodness, so pretty. And dry that up with my heat gun. And then I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the other DIY. Just use my sanding block and just to stress that uh, paper down just a little bit. Now, I should have done it the way I did it in the last DIY is do that before I put the layer of Mod Podge on, but I forgot. So it still worked. It's just, it was a little bit more difficult to take, to distress it, obviously. <laughs> And so here you can see, okay, this is where it changed my mind because I didn't like it. I didn't like the frame to be all white. It just didn't look right to me. So I am just going along the top and the outside of the frame with my antique wax to make it look like wood. And then I'm just very, very lightly going along the edges with my sanding block just to bring out a little bit more dimension um, and just to distress it down just a titch so that it looks like it's a little bit, you know, more worn and it matches the stem on the pumpkin that's going to go into the center. So yeah, look at that. It looks so much better. I like that. Tell me what you think. Would you have done that? Would you have left it white? Would you have done a different color? Let me know down in the comments. And so I cut this decal out on my Cricut. It says, hello fall. The hello is right out of Cricut Design Space. The fall is using the font yours truly from Cricut D Design Space as well. So I just place that in the center and then using a laser cut out uh, leaf and a little 
bow made out of twine and one of these paper flowers from Dollarama. I'm just going to glue those to the top of my pumpkin just to give it some detail. Look how cute, look how cute. It's so cute. I love fall, oh my goodness. Oh, pumpkins, pumpkins. Freaking love pumpkins. And final step, you guys, just hot glue that beautiful pumpkin to the center of our piece and we are done. That is it. And how gorgeous is that? Oh my goodness. It's so, so pretty. So pretty. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Alright everybody, that is it for our first all new fall decor DIY video. I really hope that you enjoyed these. I think that they turned out is so cute and I am so pumped for fall. I love fall decor, like pumpkins, yes! And of course, you guys, let me know down in the comments which one of these is your favorite. And if you would like to support my channel, I do have a buy me a coffee link down in my description box. It just helps me to buy craft supplies and helps me to bring you more DIYs. And of course, if you like what you see, do me a solid tap that like button, maybe subscribe, tell your friends, you know, all of that jazz. Stay tuned for the gag reel. Bye guys. All right, you guys. So I'm really excited because we are starting fall projects this week. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Great. Did you hear that? There's somebody working. It's working. It's Monday. They're working. So, no. So I really like to grow out my nails. And I never wear fake nails because if I'm crafting and stuff or digging in the garden or whatever, they just get all like messed up. So, but I can grow my nails really, really well. But then once I break one, I have to take them all off and it happened. So now back to like, I have sausage fingers. <laughs> sausage. That's weird. There we go. Perfect. This is not ideal. This is not ideal. <laughs> And by the time that you guys watch this, it will be my first day back at work after two weeks of holidays. Hmm. That kind of stinks. All right, you guys. So I am just popping in here really quickly to say... <sighs> All right. <laughs> It's like I haven't spoken before. I'm having mouth issues. <laughs> Words are hard. Yeah. Nailed it.